guys, welcome to Hazel Me. Today I'm going to teach you how to do Dutch braids and also two simple hairstyles that you can pull up once you know how to Dutch braid. So for the sake of showing how to Dutch braid, I'm going to pour my hair into the middle and put it out of the way. Now I will take a piece of hair and divide it into three sections. So we have position number one, number two and number three. So we will start the, fit, the first stitch as you would normally do in a normal braid. The first strand under the middle strand and the third one under the middle strand. Now it comes the new thing. So we add in hair into strand number one and we cross under the middle strand. Now with strand number three, again, we add in hair and we cross it under the middle strand. We repeat again. We add in hair in strand number one and cross it under the position number two. We add in hair into strand number three and cross it under the middle strand. And just keep repeating this process. For those of you who are learning, I would strongly recommend that you try to memorize the process and braid without looking into the mirror, because you will probably get confused with your own fingers as you see the reflection for the mirror effect. And then, once you have learned the technique and your fingers know the movement, then you will be able to look in the mirror to see if it looks good. I will also show how to touch braid vertically, because it can be quite different for beginners because the arms are in different position. But the basics are obviously the same. You need strand number one, two and three. And you just do the same. The first strand under the second strand and the third strand under the middle. And now we add in hair. We add hair in strand number one and cross it under the middle strand. And then we add in hair into the third strand and cross under the middle strand. And we just keep repeating again remembering the positions of each strand. So there you have it, now you know how to touch braid your own hair. Now let's go into the hairstyles, the first one, the boxer braids. So you could leave them like that, which is a perfect hairstyle to do a sport or an activity. But what I normally like to do is to pull the braids a little bit, so that they look fluffier and with more volume. Don't worry about pulling the braid too much. If some hair pops out, then we can fix it. Now 
now you can see the difference between both sides. For the second hairstyle, I'm going to do two accent braids at the top. Again, you could leave the braids like that, but I like to pull the braids out a little bit, so they pop out a little bit more. Then what you could do is put a nice bow or hair clip, or you could simply do a ponytail and leave the braids as accent braids to give the ponytail a little bit of texture. So guys, those were two simple Dutch braid hairstyles. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to see more. See you next time!